Okay, part two of the 14.4 volt test. Um, we got our voltage here, 14.43, and I got my inverter now hooked up to a 250 watt infrared heat lamp. So let's go ahead and see. I already did the calculation RAN test. I got one minute and 26 seconds for discharging before this inverter shuts down and 1 minute and 15 seconds to charge it right back up to the same mark as where I left off 14.4 2 alrighty so we're gonna start it up and I'm gonna show this thing go here we go we're at 14.2 got 250 watts going right there and you can see as the voltage is being sucked down and the current being drawn out of these caps it is not that bad at all for the amperage of that 250 watt draw off this inverter. And the lamp does not lose its intensity at all. And the voltage shut off is around, I believe, 10.7 volts the inverter shuts down. You can already hear the fan starting to die down in the inverter. There we go. Ten point six. All righty. That's not bad at all to run for a minute and 26 seconds. Now let's go ahead and I'm going to hit turn on my power here and let's charge her back up and you can clock it whatever you want to do. Here we go. Builds back up very fast. Not like a battery. It would take a long time to pump that back up. So if you're running lead lights instead of this main uh, power sucking lamp here, just regular LEDs, 100 watt LEDs, this thing will run a, an extremely long time because the current draw is nothing for those to run. Almost there. And the cool thing about these capacitors is they just stay freezing to the touch. Though they're pushing so much current. There you go. Go ahead and turn it off. So a minute 26 seconds discharge and a minute and 15 seconds to charge it back up. Not bad. My next test will be on some fluorescent lights or LED lights just to see. I'm curious to see how long it could push a 100 watt, 200 watt LEDs. So, well, thanks for watching. Let me know your comments.